Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and something excited happened yesterday. I got a new tree from one of our amazing subscribers. So, comment down below, what do you think it is? All right guys, so I have always wanted to grow this tree and actually I put up a poll on our community page and a lot of you guys voted on it and 28, I think as the last time I was looking at it, of you guys, 28% of you guys got it right. It is a, let me show you, it is a curry tree. That is right. We are going to have all types of fresh, beautiful curry dishes and look at the beautiful pot she put it in so guys at first I just want to say a big 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 thank you to Jenny for bringing it up to me she drove all the way from Tucson and brought me a curry plant and curry is something I've always wanted to grow for those of you guys that don't know I am a small space gardener limited space here in the city and I am trying my hardest to reduce all of our like veggie grocery expenses and when I say veggie groceries I mean vegetables um, any type of fruits and citrus I can grow and then also spices and herbs and curry is an amazing spice I think it's considered an herb though because it's a green leafy thing <laughs> but it's an amazing addition to your cooking so where now I really don't have to buy any type of grocery store bottled seasonings because I've been able to make my own and curry was one that I would buy curry powder, but I've always wanted to grow my own curry tree. And yeah, there was a person that asked if curry grew on a tree, and yes, it does. I know we are used to seeing it as a powder or in like one of those like mesh blend things, but it all starts on a tree and it is green. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Thank you again for bringing it to me. I, I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that everything goes well with it and it grows beautifully and yeah and then I'm gonna be sharing some curry dishes with you guys not only curry dishes but you can also make curry weight loss things because curry is really good for the digestion and helping with weight loss and then also hair products curry is amazing at any type of hair damage that you have if you have hair that is falling we can make a curry it's like thing in order to put that on your hair and I'll probably make you guys one because during the winter is when I grow my hair out so I will be adding all types of natural things to my hair to grow it out since it won't be a million degrees so I'm pretty excited about that so guys next up to I'm gonna start working on zone 9 this is a zone with my banana tree which look at how big these leaves are guys this is ridiculous this is like a whole plate which if you don't know banana leaves you can cook in and use them as a plate so I'm excited about that and trying that when we can get some grill time but I want to start working on filling up these Dollar Tree parts pots and getting them all nice and full. I want to do green beans and green beans and then calendula flowers in these ones. And then in these smaller pots right below, I'm going to do some collard greens. Now, when it comes to my Dollar Tree pots, I have always had a harder time germinating things equally in the pots as they are stacked up. Normally I have to lay them. I just saw Frank Jr. run across the fence, guys. Can you guys see him? He's like chasing bugs right there, just running across. Oh my goodness, my ADD sometimes is so crazy back here with all of these little lizards running around. <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying, sometimes I have a hard, hard time when they're stacked up getting everything germinated at the same time because you have to rotate your um, Dollar Tree pots. So anything with stackables, you wanna rotate them so that they're getting an even amount of sun. So what I like to do is I like to start them indoors. Um, this will also help too because I probably should have started these like two weeks ago. So I will save a lot of time on germinating because I can just start them, put them right into underneath my grow lights inside and I can leave those grow lights on for like a day day at a time or you know 18 20 hours the first day and then like the next day 
leave them for a little bit less and just keep that cycle going to where they're getting a lot a lot of light and it will force them to germinate pretty quickly and then all I can do is just take them and put them into the pots and that will help because then they already have those green leaves that are already reaching for the sun so they will find the sun and it won't be so hard for them to germinate so what I'm going to do is I am going to just start a whole bunch of my royal burgundy bush beans and that is going to be in one of the towers I'm gonna to do the um, bush beans now I use the Jiffy potting mix and I use it in these ones now this is the one with the silicone I don't know if you guys can see that it's the silicone tray I love the tray for getting things out I don't like the tray because it doesn't have a lid but luckily I had some older um, like older Jiffy trays that had lids to it. So I just use one of their lids to go over top of it. So do note if you guys get that tray, which I will link it down below, it's on Amazon. Um, you wanna make sure that you have something to go over it to keep that humidity in because that's what really helps things to germinate a lot quicker is just that hot humidity being able to help those seeds pop up. So now in the other part of that, um, the calendula flowers, I went to AMP Nursery here in Arizona. If you guys have never been there, you should check them out. They have really good prices on a lot of the um, vegetables and a lot of the starts on flowers and all that. And I got some calendula flowers there. So I'll show you guys that. So I got two trays. So that's going to be 12 of the calendula flowers that I'm gonna be able to plant. And then I already have six underneath here that are growing underneath my pumpkin, which look at how gorgeous this looks. So you got like the pumpkin over there and down here and then the flowers in between. It looks a little magical for the desert guys. <laughs> and this pumpkin is finally starting to flower, finally. But yeah, I have a lot of calendula going. Now I don't have any herbs in my pantry that I can make really good skincare with. So like a face cream or like just like a skin cream for like any type of like scars or cuts or bruises, anything like that. And calendula is really good for that. So my plan is to make a um, calendula curry treatment for my hair and then also one for my um, like oil for my hair just calendula one and then also use one for like face creams and then like some lotions but I needed to grow some calendula in order to do that because instead of buying it I can easily just grow it and then just wait the time for it to grow which is way cheaper and then all you need is a carrier oil so I will be going over that later on in the videos but I just wanted to introduce you guys to the new tree and say big thank you to Jenny. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bush beans planted and then yeah, we'll get them started and then once they're ready to go into the pots, we'll do a whole video about how I put together my Dollar Tree pots and all the different things that I'm putting in there. Cause not only do I have the ones on this side, I also have the ones by the brassica beds, which I plan to do like bok choys and lettuces and all those fun different things. So until next time guys, Grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. And Shabbat Shalom to everybody that celebrates. Bye guys.